I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty puppy Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard and enjoy the ride. Hugging the old pooch. Morning guys. I'm just gonna interrupt this episode really quickly. I know you wanna get back to see me longboarding because I'm just so cool. Uh, but I just wanna tell you about this. This is Doogie. It's a rugged phone. It's a shame I didn't have this a few weeks ago actually because I dropped my Apple phone uh, and into the water and it instantly broke even though it was meant to be waterproof. And it was, it's totally fudged. And we were very, very lucky that actually our patron, Angus, um, replaced it for me. So it's a shame we didn't have this, because maybe that would never have happened. But this, guys, is the Blade 10 Pro. I'm going to I'm gonna get out and show you. It's a rugged phone. They're a, they're a rugged phone specialist company. They've been going for about 12 years. They're, like, leading in their industry, apparently. And I want to show you it. So here we go. So it comes in this little box with its little plug and its lead. And instructions and warranty and everything in the bottom. Screen protector accessory. It's got all the stuff. Look at this, guys. Look, it's like it's in a case already. It's like... Seriously, I don't think this is even going to be breakable. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. It's um, only 11 millimetres as well. Ultra thin. For a rugged phone, that's, that's ultra thin. That's pretty cool. And they are. And it has a 550 milliamp hour battery on it. Oh, Bear loves this. Bear, do you want to pull the thing off for me? Yeah. Cool. He loves pulling the things off. Go on then. Right, ready? Yeah. Guys, if anybody needs a rugged phone on this boat, who does? He breaks oh, every phone he ever has. That's so cool. Wow. Look at that, guys. Comes fitted with a screen protector. This is a very cool design. This is actually, um, I mean, look, look at the back panel on it. It's a cyberpunk style, apparently. That's the style. That is like cool, man. It runs the Android 14 already. Um, so it's up to that system, which is enhanced performance and, and, and you know, stability. It's got a 50 megapixel camera on it, which is AI camera, and it's got the Morpho, Morpho um, algorithm, so it's going to be pretty good camera shots. I'll show you some pictures we've taken with it here. So you get the idea what they look like. Pretty great pictures, guys, right? It's uh, 16 gigabyte, which is... Um, yeah, pretty good, actually. As phones go, 16 gigabyte RAM and uh, 256 gigabyte, is that right, Bear? Yeah. Storage on it. So that's great performance and it gives you a smooth operational system. So, I mean, that's really good. I'm going to switch on in a minute and show you how it works. Um, it, it uses the powerful Okta core processor, so that makes it quite fast. And, and this is where it's really, this is why I could have done with this phone probably before, is IP68 and IP69 waterproof, dust proof, dirt proof, sand proof. It's everything proof. It literally would stand up, apparently, to any environment. Right, I'm going to get a sim and put it in it and try it out, guys, and then we're going to take it for a little walk and see how it gets on with all the sand and salt and water and all the other stuff. I think this is going to be fantastic for Bear. He's just not going to be able to break it, is he? He breaks everything. I, I think this is going to be indestructible, especially for Bear. So Bear looks like you're going to be well happy with this, but we'll try it out. Let me just go and get a sim now. So, <laughs> I've turned it all on. We've like, been doing a little bit of videoing and taking pictures. I really like it, guys. Let me just take a picture. No, no playing games while I'm on the video. Right, let me just look. This is it, guys. Just switch it 
to the camera, Mum. Let me just take a picture of the dog. I'm going to show you a picture of the dog. Dog, look at me. Come here, come here. Stop looking at your paw. Hang on, let's zoom in a bit. Oh, how do we zoom in? This is all so new. This is this is so exciting, guys. Um, how do you zoom in? I don't know how to zoom in. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Put it on, it's gone. Oh, I don't forget. Okay. Guys, we're going to take you for a walk and I'll show you what it's like out there in all the elements. So exciting. That's a trip. Turn around down here. Yeah, turn it around, park it up. You're, you're going to break that long board. Uh, you're going to break your long board. Am I? You're gonna get and you're going to get your fingers trapped. Yeah. You're going to sound like it broke then. Yeah, it did. God. Steady Eddies. Yeah, what no are you doing then? Tracks, oh, these are nice plants, aren't they? Isn't it lovely here? We didn't decide. What are we doing? I don't know. That's right. pickle. Yeah. Little wonder. We had a fabulous lunch. I bought some very expensive, cheap perfume from Greece. Divine. Oh no, not Divine, Dior. <laughs> and then we're going back to Pickle and see my buddy baby. Yeah, because last time, guys. Hold that. Hold that. 
<laughs> I think you don't want to hold that though. Are they close up your face then? No. You're the face of disgust. Yes, I'll untie it. My face of disgust. <laughs> Here you go. Right, then you're going to have to take this in a minute. <laughs> You got to walk all through London with that. I can squat this. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to carry all that? I'm shaking. Already. We haven't got a suitcase, guys. Go to the London this is all we've like. got. Yeah, Easy. man. You did it. Easy. You got about 50 kilogram there. I'm sweating. Turn around. Let's, let's have a look. 50 kilos. It's fripping every that. That is so heavy. And because my dad says I'm not independent, I'm going to be carrying my nan's suitcase and my nan's bag. And my nan's handbag. I'm going to be walking through the world and I'm looking like a flipping mule. But you know what? Even if I'm struggling and literally crawling along the floor, I proved my dad wrong. So I'm going to forget to you, Chris. No. <laughs> I'm going to video you walking to Cardiff tomorrow and see how you get on, yeah? No, but that's not fair because that's a hill. Not... Anyway, you're going to manage. You're going to do it, Bo. You're going to die, but you're going to do it. Your shoulder's going really, really. Just going to strain. Right, take it all off then before you die. I'm going to climb this and set out this mess. Who's going today? Sorry. Oh, it's half past four. I don't want to leave. Yeah, my coat, sorry. Oh, she's going. Oh, Terry. Excuse me. I've got a bloody cold. Go into my house. It'll be cold, so we can't drink. And you're going back for an autumn dentist appointment. Yeah. And then you're going to spend a month or two months on this silly house. Yes. Lucky. Lucky devil. And we're sad on guys about her, which is going to be really horrible and weird. I can't believe I'm going back to England that month. I know. It's the first time I'm going to say about you. First time in my whole life I've been away from you. That's weird. Really weird. So, weird. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. See uh, Christmas. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. I see you Christmas. Bye, 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 Jerry. Love you. Bye. And we're down to three. <laughs> no. Here you go. <laughs> Where's Bo? Where's Bo? She's coming about us, buddy. She's coming about us. She's not in the water, is she? Silly, silly dog. Up here. Let's go find Bear instead. Let's go find Bear. It's cool walking in here in the dark, isn't it? Cool little beach. Those beach bags. Surprise his home to see it wouldn't it? Oh my god. Lily Wayne. Oh, wet tree. Surprise his home, isn't it? He can oh. just go and tip, I get a kiss on the bed here, look. <laughs> There's the big kid now. Big sibling. He's taking the rubbish to the beach on his own. I'm sorry I look like shit. I actually feel like shit. I got the serious cold going on here. We all have. And I've just walked into the thing and banged my head. How stupid was that? Anyway, Bear's taking the rubbish to the shore all by himself. It's 10 now. Big sister's not here, so he's the big boy. Should I come? Should I go with you for the ride then, like a princess? Yeah. All right, I'll go with him. I'll sit on the bench just in case something goes wrong. No. 
check on. Check on, yeah. That's on. Open. And the fuel on. Off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to put a few revs. Few revs on. All right, mate. With this engine, you have to like get it to nearly start on choke, and then turn the choke off and try again, and then it starts. It's a funny one, this one. Well done, turn choke off from now, Paul. Well done, well done. Choke off, quick, quick, quick. Oh, it's so stiff, that choke. It's so, so stiff. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Right. Maybe you need to put choke back on again. Sorry, darling. Try again. Big, not pulling hard enough, long enough, big enough. You're wearing yourself out. Right. Do you want me to do it? It's because you've worn yourself out pulling it so much. You need a really big, hard, long pull. You're gonna flood it. I'm not. Oh, that's cool then. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Yes! <laughs> what do you think, buddy? I did it! That was some determination there, but. I did it! I started the engine. I got myself. Dad, I started the engine again! Oh, right, take this princess to shore. Yeah. Don't get rubbish. Go. See him here, buddy boys. We're coming back, don't worry.
Christian got you through. What's Daddy doing? And why are we having a tidy up? Huh? Why are we having a tidy up? Because we're going to sail the back home fence. We are, but we're going to do, we've got a month of sailing to enjoy. We haven't, we're not just doing that. We're going to enjoy our last month, aren't we, on the boat? Yeah. So we've got some bad weather coming, haven't we, end of the week? Yeah. No, beginning of next week. So we've got like a one week. So we're going to sail on and do some anchorages and then get to a protected one, hopefully, by the time the bad weather hits. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Sail tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye bye Lindos! Bye bye Lindos! And the amazing castles! And yeah! What a summer, huh? Yeah! End of the summer, in with the autumn. Yeah! And I'm excited for Christmas. I bet you are. for this place if there's a northwesterly you can get some massive rolling swells like dangerous swells but um it's fine it's very calm in the next couple of days in fact they're very calm because there's a storm coming at the end of the week so um yeah i'm just going to show you around i've just made dinner like greek salads and potatoes and stuff dead easy but i'm going to show you it's so pretty i'll try and take dog fork in the morning to show you them but just in case i'll show you a 360 of our ingredients like it buddy is it nice? You like 
Look at it. Huh? Is it good? It's just like beach, beach, beach. You see, there's a massive sandbar all the way across. A little island. On that island, it shows that it's actually water. So I'm guessing at high tide, it cuts the sandbar off. But that's like a whole sandbar. You can see where if there was really bad winds coming this direction, it would build up the swell, wouldn't it, over that sandbar, and then a massive rolling waves. It'd be quite. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in this anchorage. But uh, anyway, guys. This is it. It's quite cool, huh? And we made it before dark, which is good, huh, buddy? I think it gets quite shallow quite quick here. We're in about five, five point six meters. Yeah. As long as the wind stays what it says it's meant to stay, we will be good for the day. We got some uh, night fishers over there doing a bit of fishing, and over there. Cool, huh, buddy? <laughs> Good old pickle. Takes us wherever we want to go. Night world, night night boat, wherever you are in England. Night my beautiful friends. See you in the morning. Hi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.